Kennel Club, written by Jack Sherry. Fade in. Exterior, Santa Monica Street, Day. A sign on a storefront reads, Dana's Grooming. Spoil your best friends here. Interior, Dana's Grooming Shop, Day. In a room with a desk with two chairs as a reception area, one door on the back wall reads, Kennel, and another, Bathing. Photos of beautiful dogs grace the walls. Dana, 30s, the owner of the business, sits at a dog grooming station brushing a terrier. Next to her, Angela, 20s, her hard-working assistant, grooms a German shepherd. In a corner, Dana's golden lab Echo lies watching. I'll be able to pay you by the end of the week. Promise. We need more customers. Carlton, 40s, skinny and nerdy with his thick glasses, white socks with sandals, comes in the front door. You coming today? Can't. Gotta pay the bills. There's a new guy. He's beaten everyone so far. Really? She goes to the front window and looks out into a park. Two empty picnic tables flank a third one, surrounded by a dozen men who watch two others play chess. He's using a weird version of the Sicilian defense. Is that where he shoots you in the back of the head twice? No. Black pushes his queen's... She's kidding, Carlton. Go trim their egos, as usual. I'll finish here. You sure? Angela waves her off. Come on, Echo! Echo rises quickly and follows Dana out. Exterior, park, day. Along with the others, Dana watches Thatcher, 30s, checkmate, coach, 40s. Did it, man. Touchdown. Coach offers his hand. Thatcher shakes it, smiling. Thanks, Coach. Nice to meet you. Carlton ushers Dana to the seat occupied by Coach. Echo sneaks in under her feet and lies down. I'm Dana. Thatcher, take white. They set the board up quickly. Dana shoves her queen's pawn out two spaces. Thatcher slides his queen bishop's pawn out two spaces. Have you ever been to Sicily? They move several times, very rapidly. Ah, the dragon. Accelerated dragon. One of the spectators, Stanley, 50s, a straight-laced accountant dressed in a white shirt and tie, is impressed with the speed of play. Accelerated everything. The two players each only take only one or two seconds in between moves. Several chess pieces are picked up and eliminated all as the conversation continues. Where are you from? Tuscaloosa. Is that a real place? Your elephants need help? Maybe just tighten those tusks up a bit, eh? You people out here are weird. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, God's place. Not since Georgia started whipping y'all. What do you do? As they engage in what normally would seem like a friendly conversation, their facial expressions and body movements indicate a fierce battle as they continue to play rapidly. I sell things on TV. Like QVC? I rent time on local channels, pitch my own stuff. She stops, slowly reaches over, and takes his castle. Like what? He grimaces, thinks. Then they play speed chess again as Thatcher gives his pitch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know you wonder what great product I have next, so I'd like to introduce you to something that will ease your mind, relax your soul, and make the most pleasant experience of the day go even better. He snatches her queen with a knight. No sex talk while playing chess. I know a thing or two about picking up women as well. She snatches his queen with a bishop. He winces. They continue playing rapidly, eliminating more pieces as he continues his spiel. Now sex, no, ladies and gentlemen. I mean the least appreciated but most wonderful experience of the day. That's right, an afterword. You use the light blue, refreshing Thatcher's bowl cleaner to sweep away everything, doubly disinfecting and deodorizing, leaving the fresh, sweet smell of success. Emphasizing the word success, he takes her bishop and leaves her in checkmate. He knocks over her king. The guys applause. You distracted me with your toilet talk. What a shitty way to win. Thatcher sees a beautiful lady walking her cocker spaniel. All the guys stare. Dana notices. Oh, that's Amy. Don't think you guys would go for her. She's got serious anger issues. You like dogs? They're messy. Good security. Expensive. They don't nag. Yeah. They never say, pick up your socks. They're too busy tearing them up. 
good way to meet the ladies. She suddenly has everyone's attention. A light goes off in her head. She stands, now using her own fast-talking pitch. Echo moves out from under her feet and looks up at her. 